Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be exploring the Birkenstock Boston Clog in the taupe colorway. Let's get into the video. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. My name is Jess from writtenbyjess.com and I make videos and written blog post content about lifestyle products and sneakers or in this case footwear products as well so if you like that kind of content then please consider hitting the you got it the red subscribe button down below your support would be greatly appreciated and of course thank you to those who are returning back for another episode let's look at some of the details of this clog here i guess this as i mentioned is the taupe colorway so it's kind of like this light brownish color which I thought it was kind of nice. I don't really have anything like this. So I decided to get this color here. The style number for this clog is 0560771. And the original release date was all the way back in 1979, if you could believe it. This company has been around for a really long time. They're saying 1774, if you can see that on the box there. This pair ran me about $205 Canadian retail. There are some other options and styles as well in terms of the material here. So this, as I mentioned, is the suede leather option. There's an oiled leather option, which is $200. And then just a plain leather option, which is the cheapest. It's $190 Canadian. So just keep that in mind when you are purchasing a pair for yourself is there's different uh, materials that come with it and that's why the pricing is a little bit different for each one. So a little bit of a background and inspiration for this style here from Birkenstock. As I mentioned, it came out all the way back in 1979 and they really wanted that like laid back look and so they went with the suede for this option. And I really, really like that. It gives that kind of like relaxed look. But also I think they really wanted to create it for comfort because there's so many layers of support in this actual clog here. And it's kind of like the iconic Birkenstock look here. And, and this is the soft footbed as well, if you can see here. They really wanted to make it feel like you were standing in a bit of sand is what I read online and giving you that uh, really good comfort and support in wearing their product here. So that's a little bit about the history and why they kind of made this silhouette because there are many, many different silhouettes from Birkenstock, which I will show you next on their box in the next segment here. So this is the box that it comes in. This is your typical Birkenstock box here. Here's a little bit of information about the actual clog um, nothing too fancy to be honest and on here it shows you kind of all the different silhouettes that they have in their collection here and they have way more i think these are just kind of like the main uh, styles that they have here and they have different variations and materials and things like that so keep that in mind as well so that's the box nothing really too fancy it just kind of opens up like a normal box tissue paper and this right here is pretty cool because it gives you a measurement tool to help you kind of measure your feet but we'll talk about sizing in just a little bit the materials and features for this particular silhouette is a soft footbed which i already mentioned in the beginning which has integrated latex foam cushion it has a suede upper and leather insole along with a cork footbed and this is made of eva outsole which is kind of like a vinyl material it has adjustable metal buckle straps here as well which is pretty cool so you can tighten it and loosen it if needed and it has that made in germany stamp on the footbed which is pretty common for all the birkenstock uh, silhouettes that at least i've owned upon first wear these shoes are not really that comfortable i will be honest you do need to break these in but when these babies are broken in and they've molded to your feet i promise you they are probably one of the most comfortable things that you will wear and you can wear them for an 
a long period of time I wear them like I could wear Birks all day if I really wanted to if I'm going to like the amusement park or I'm spending a day out of the house I can really trust on Birkenstock my molded Birkenstock to keep me and my feet feeling good throughout the day so give it a chance. I know it's really uncomfortable in the beginning. I would say even to wear them around the house when you first get them so that you can break them in and when they are broken in, you'll love them. I promise you, just stick with it. For sizing, I would say if you haven't owned a pair of Birkenstocks, I would highly recommend you go into the store to try them on and purchase them at least for your first pair because the sizing is a little weird. So I'm usually a woman's eight and a half that is my true to size and for Birkenstock I actually am a size seven women's which is really interesting and so I think the reason for that is because as I mentioned in the comfort as you start wearing these the footbed will actually mold to your feet and it expands and stretches a little bit and so especially for a material with suede for example suede stretches as well and so that's why I think the sizing is a little bit off sometimes and it's not your typical like half size down or half size up. It's literally one and a half sizes down from my true to size and you can see it in the foot stamp there. It says ladies seven and men's size five, which is pretty significant in my opinion. So again, please go to the store. Uh, you can even use their box to kind of measure your feet and convert the size if you need to. And I'm sure the store's associ associates would be able to help you kind of figure out the sizing. Just keep in mind the materials and that they are able to stretch. And other than that, I've been really happy with my other Birkenstocks. So I'm expecting these to be like every other Birkenstock I've ever owned. So my overall thoughts for this clog here has been really positive. To be honest with you, if you asked me like five years ago if I actually like this, I would probably tell you that I hated this because I hate hated clogs at the time. But look at me now, I'm sporting this. I'm sporting the Crocs as well as you saw. And you know, styles change, your, opinion, your tastes change. And now I'm sporting these, which is kind of interesting. However, I will say it is $205 worth of the money that you're spending for these clogs here. I would say yes, Birkenstock is a really good company. I've owned many of their silhouettes and I've never really been disappointed. There are some things that obviously nothing is perfect. I will mention here on the back heel where the cork is, there's a glue that's over here and it will over time kind of go away. You can kind of see the shininess there. They do sell this special glue that you can reapply and it will look good as new. So that's the only thing I'll mention. And also if you have heel drag when you walk, you will notice it in this black uh, outsole as well. There's not really much you can do about it. It's just how you walk, right? So uh, keep that in mind. But other than that, I think this clog is really versatile. You can use it in many different seasons. I would say pretty much every season, maybe except for winter, unless you're brave and there's not a lot of snow and you're willing to wear thick socks with this, then power to you. But you can wear this with so many different outfits and styles. And if I do have the time, maybe I will put some style inspirations in my blog post, which is always linked below. But that's it for today's video. I really like this. Boston clog here. I think it's pretty cool. It's gonna be really exciting to kind of figure out what I can wear with these. Other than that, enjoy the on foot footage in the next clip of this video. And let me know if you've jumped on the Birkenstock Boston clog wave, because I certainly have. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, leave it in the comment box below and I will do my best to answer your questions. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. 
There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.